Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the September BAM box horror box. Uh, still don't have any designs on here to denote that it's BAM box. So I don't know what's going on with that. But they had they did do some recent um, updates on some things. One of the big things they're doing is they're changing the naming convention of these. So they're going to be doing like volume number, which has to do with the year they're in so like right now any any box this would be volume three because it's their third year doing it and then the number of box it is so this would be like volume three b number nine since it's from october or september but for me for my naming convention for the um for the videos on youtube i'm just gonna stick with what it's been with the month so i'm still just gonna say it's the september 2019 bam horror box because the whole like volume and box number thing is just confusing and no one's going to search it that way when they're looking for videos i don't think so anyway um the other thing is they're doing a lot of stuff actually they're going to be doing a whole nother box itself called the drop i think if you go to like score the drop.com or something you can see it it's like a um like something game related and then some food and a t-shirt i think let me fix this light i don't know why this lighting's being weird Whatever, we'll, we'll soldier ahead, I'll fix it in post. So I don't remember what's gonna be in this box per se. Um, I keep forgetting the franchises nowadays, so sorry about that. I'm gonna do the pin first because that's what's on top. Oh, oh, it's Summer of 84, uh, designed by Nick Kokoza. By the way, if I seem a little bit off, I apologize. I, my allergies are killing me right now and it's kinda like really messing with my head where my equilibrium's off and like I'm kinda dizzy, so it's, it's a pain. Uh, yeah, so Nick Kokoza, he's done these before. Summer of 84. Um, what is the... What is it from, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who Who is this guy? Definitely looks 80s. Oh, is that Lost Boys? Would that be it? Maybe. Maybe Lost Boys. We'll have to find out. I mean, it looks like random dude with purple headband. Well, it's pinkish purple. It's hard to tell in this light. Purple headband, random 80s dude with purple headband and pierced ear. I don't know. We'll find out. So, there's something that's wrapped. Oh, okay. It's a sign. They actually haven't done a sign in a while, so that's fine. Um, Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. For anyone who doesn't get this reference, why are you watching this unboxing? Friday the 13th. Yeah, so... Um, that's fine. I mean, and you can hear, like, it's it's metal. And actually, it's sharp on the edges, so people need to be careful. That's probably why it was ra actually wrapped in this, because otherwise sliding around in there, it probably would have pierced the box, because these are sharp edges. They probably should have rounded those, to be honest. But, yeah, that's cool. I mean, people can display this. I may or may not. I don't know. T TBD, to be determined, folks, if you don't know what that means. Uh, okay, so let's go to the next thing. I assume it's going to be the art print. Yes. Uh, the title is Andy Psycho. Uh, artist is Jill Kimball. And it's apparently signed. Okay. Number 933 out of 2000. I mean, it's like an Andy Warhol type dealie where it looks like they took a picture that exists and just kind of did something with the computer. Um, I mean, I like kind of like the Warhol color change style of it, but I don't want it to be an, a computer altered picture. Like that's like, I want original artwork really. And I guess you could argue that this is original artwork because someone did it on their computer, but I just don't want it where t someone legitimately took a, existing photo or like an actual still from a movie and then chain you know manipulates it on a computer i don't consider that art i consider that more of like a marketing type thing um you know not for me and and if this is a psycho themed piece of art um like people who really know psycho will you know should could get this i don't know it's kind of nondescript ish as far as like you you're not necessarily gonna know this for psycho i'm not not a big fan uh now let's find out the autograph autograph is oh ooh, okay 
this is actually pretty surprising. This this is a good this is a good autograph for this box to be honest. Okay, so it's Ashley Lawrence who played Kirsty in Hellraiser. And I <laughs> I legitimately have this exact photo of her from Hellraiser signed by her. Um from when I met her at a convention, but actually yeah, the one that I have, it's on the wall up there. The one that I have is much lighter than this, so like the back, the background blue isn't so dark. It's actually a very light blue, so it's actually easier to see her face and to really like see the blood. So it's kind of like cleaned up. But this is a really cool photo to have signed, to be honest. And um, she has a good autograph. It's like very large, and you can tell what it says. So, and she's a nice person. When I met her, I met her like ten years ago, maybe more to be honest. Um, no, but this is good. This is a really good get for the autographs. Yeah, I like that. Hellraiser, baby. Ashley Lawrence. I love the Hellraiser films. I think they're amazing. Okay, so, um, that's it? That's it. Okay, that's it. Alright, um, so, this looks different now. Uh, so the celebrity autograph, obviously, Ashley Lawrence. There's no variant for the autograph, just so people know. Uh, the art print, it's either the Psycho Scream, as we saw it kind of Warhol style, or another one that's Warhol style of a picture of, um, Alfred Hitchcock. You can see it there. And that's only 500 of that done, but, you know. Like I said, it's not really my type of art, because I don't really consider it so much art. Uh, the movie prop, with Halloween approach, approaching, what better sign to display than the head and field memorial hospital replica sign that guided michael myers i do think that that's a pretty decent prop replica as far as you know i'm not big into the prop replicas with this box but as far as those go like that's one i actually think is like i could use that like that's a legitimate one i'm okay with so then for the art it is from what is it from um we are so excited for the latest season of american horror story okay that's why I didn't really get it. When we pitched the Joker for the pop culture box, artist Nick Kokoza asked to do these also. We are glad we said yes. Oh, so it was the artist's idea. Hey, why don't I do some pins from American Horror Story 1984? Okay, I guess that's why it's called Summer of 84. It That's, that's tricky because there's actually a movie on Shudder called Summer of 84. And it's a really good horror movie. If you have Shudder, you should definitely check it out. And actually, if you don't have Shudder, you should get it for that. But, um, okay, that makes sense where I was looking at this, and I'm like, I don't quite get it. So there's that one. That's the normal pin. Then there's a woman who's out of 250, and then a, a bloody knife being held out of 99. So, you know, see, sorry. My light is, like, right above it because I use a ring light. So I have to hold it in a weird way. So, I, yeah, I don't know who this woman is over here because I haven't started watching the show. I do plan to watch the show because I've heard really good things, but I'm just I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I will because this is my crazy time. Like, this is when I watch, try to watch at least 31 horror films throughout the month. But my other problem is I am kind of on a timeline with some of these films because I have screener copies that I'm getting from Shudder. And I'm, I also got one from outside of Shudder from the company putting this uh, documentary called In Search of Darkness together, which that review is up. So when they send me these screeners, I kind of have to get them done within a certain amount of time for my reviews to post. So, um, And then the giveaway, sorry, that was a quick transition over. That's like, mm, mm, mm. Um, a James Jude Courtney signed Funko Pop for their monthly giveaway. Um, James Jude Courtney, if people don't know, is the most recent person to play Michael Myers in the newest Halloween that was done, which I thought was pretty solid. There you go. That's a cool uh, monthly giveaway, to be honest. I mean, because honestly, like, his autograph at horror conventions is at least $40? At least. Might be more. I don't remember. Because when I see it, I'm not like, I want to get his autograph. I focus on other people. But, okay. Um, uh, so I'm kind of like, I'm half and half on this. Um... The pin looks good, but I don't know what it's, I didn't know what it was from. So the pin looks good as usual. Nick Kokoza, I think, does a good job. Um, not a fan of the art print. Don't really think it's an art, piece of art, in my opinion. Uh, I, I want them to do, like, actual art, either, like, drawn or, like, drawn on a computer. You know what I mean? Like, not taking images and, and manipulating them. 
Um, very impressed with the autograph, though. That Ashley Lawrence autograph is... F um, if I didn't already have it, I would probably say that's the best autograph they've ever gotten for this BAM box, for BAM box horror. So, it's very cool. Um, I'm going to need to find someone to give that to, to be honest. Because since I have my personalized one from her, and it's the exact same photo, coincidentally... I didn't give it to my buddy Rich. I'll do that. And then, like I said, the sign. Um, not big on the props, but for prop, I think it's a cool prop, actually. So I'm kind of like half and half on this box. Uh, but, you know, that's what you get with these mystery boxes. So, yeah, we'll see what we get next time. Um, I wish they had, like, teasers. Because, like, Fright Crate, I don't know if people know, I, I also unbox Fright Crates. Uh, they always have, like, a teaser for the franchises for the next month. And I kind of like to put that at the end. So I know they used to do it with Bambox, and I wish they still did it. But, you know, whatever. Anyway, thanks, people, for uh, checking this out. I would really appreciate it if you could pay me back by hitting the subscribe button. That's all you need to do. Just subscribe to the channel. Costs you nothing. It's literally painless. Please do it. And put some comments down here if you want to talk horror. Are you watching American Horror Story Summer of 84 or just 84? I think it's just called 84. American Horror Story 84. Are you watching it? Should I watch it? I'm probably going to, but you can talk me out of it if you have time. Anyway, thanks everyone, and until next time, keep it brutal.